Right, good morning everyone. Now, I've got a project I'm going to do. I'm going to use up all my tidbits that I've made or that I've got hanging about. So I'm going to put all of that to one side, even these little scraps of ribbon that I had from the other day. And I've got some chain as well. Um, I've got some spare ribbons, threads, I've got these flowers, I've got fabrics, materials, the ribbon, which is a velvet ribbon. We do sell this in the shop when you get in, I think it's three metres, oh, maybe five metres on a card like this, but uh, this is my piece. So I've got that to use up. Uh, needle and thread, I've got a picture, I've got some small pictures like that which i've done we do sell the uh, cabochon and um, i've got some flowers a bit of a leaf that i was practicing on a flower that i've got spare i've got one of those that i made i've got some lee uh, petals the ribbon petals I'm just going to get all this out of my box because I want to make sure I have everything I can of what I've got that I can see. Now, my lighter, tweezers, I don't know what will happen. This is going to be an <laughs> experiment. No, it's a play day. Let's say it's a play day. Dif uh, various um, gross grain ribbons in uh, widths. I've made these this morning. So I have a couple of those that I've made. Another one somewhere. Yeah, there it is. So I might make some more of those and I'll show you how to do those. Some more cottons, more petals, more ribbons. We're just going to play. And remember these, we do sell them, but they come with those on. And I take them off and you'll see why. So what I'm going to do is, that's to show you how to do that. I'm going to take off the bits that I need. So they're out the way and then add in <coughs> I need that to make up well I need it all anyway so I'm gonna have to have it all out and we're going to play now so let me move things out of the way so you can see I'm gonna do this first don't need that one yet I've got some rolled ribbons as well tweezers lighter scissors I'm going to clear all that up there and we're going to go to do these first so I'm going to show you how I made this one first you must excuse me my nails are disgusting I get because I'm always sorting and doing something I have to clean them all the time sorry about that <laughs> but that's life that's life anyway Let's have a look. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to need one of those. I might do a couple more actually because I'm going to need more I think. Where did I put the other one? Yeah. Uh, you saw me make the flower the other day. So you know how to do that. So we're just going to do this one at the moment. So I'm going to take my needle and thread. Hopefully I've got enough on here. Which I have. There we go. Now, Monday, we've got a big car boot to go to Monday and I'm telling you now, whatever I pick up, grab it while you can because I know it won't last. That one's a bit burnt, don't know why. Now you need to cut a square and I'm using the um, 1.5 inch gross grain ribbon and I start on the edge that's already secure, you know, um, the ribbon edge itself. This I've just used the lighter to uh, burnish and we just... Do a tacking stitch and then take that, take that bit off that's fine and we're going to go across to that the middle of that side like that Ray's just gone to post all the parcels from uh, this week then we're going to go again from that middle to that middle Now I've started to take photographs of your parcels if you go, if they're going abroad, um, so that I've got a copy of how much we have put on the front 
for what the contents are. Just, I'm going to start keeping a record of it and proof of postage, obviously. So go like that and then we're going to go on that corner back to where we started. Like that. So you've done like a diamond shape. See? Like that. Doesn't have to be perfect. You know that. And then what you do is you pull all that together. Like that. Pull it tight. And you've got your little flower. Like that. So you're pulling that tight. And then I'm going to go through the flower. Oops. Like so. Just turn that around and we pull that in tight and we wrap that around. So there's it and then thread that back through. And then open them up. So you've got four little petals like that. They don't have to be perfect or anything of the kind. Then we take the needle and we pop that back through the middle. Take the right size pearl which can be any size pearl you want. That's a little bit big for me, actually. Make sure your needle goes through your pearl in the first place. And then we pop that back through, but on the edge, like that. See? So I hope you're seeing this. And there you go. You've got your little flower to start with. And then what you do is you just stitch around that. Now what I'm going to do is to wrap my thread around there poke that through and again just to secure that off and once more and we trim that put your needle safe if you're anything like me you often lose them <laughs> And we've got that little flower and then we take one of these and we pop that through there. Like I say, we sell all of these. These are all for sale. You get a bunch of 12. We sell this ribbon as well. So we sell everything you need for this. Now that's not going to stay on there. So all we do, take a double glue on that side and a dob of glue on that side and there you go you've got your first one so I haven't glued these in so I'm going to do that now I'm just going to do that and this one And that side as well. Just a smidgen of glue. You don't need much at all. So we've got three of those done so far. If I want any more, I will make more. But I'm not sure. This is a project. I have no idea how it's going to turn out. Uh, at all. <laughs> well, we'll see. But I've got another one cut there ready just in case. So now we've got this flower. Make these. And like I say, I usually just make a batch of these and then I've got them. I use different uh, widths of uh, ribbon. And I've got the video showing you. So I'm not going to show you how to do this one again today. Unless I need to make another flower. I may need to. But I've got this one. So I'm just putting those out of the way because we've got those done. Um, and there should be five of these. Yep. And... This one basically is, oh, let me cut it and show you. If you take your ribbon, right, and you fold the corner down like that, and then you do, turn it around, sorry. So you've got that folded down, and then you fold that down, then cut that, and once you've cut it, you stitch across both of those. So burnish them first so they don't come undone. It's annoying when they start to fray. That's not even straight, Fee, come on. 
like I say they don't have to be perfect but it's nice if you can get them neat so you stitch there Cut, cut the amount you need so you'd got them up front and then you can do that and you sew right across there and pull them tight and stitch them together and you get those okay so we've got one of those ready if we need to and then all I'm going to do now is take um, a little bit of this felt you only need a small amount because you don't want all this showing when you're doing your projects so I'm just going to trim the corners off, make a relatively small circle. Doesn't have to be perfect. You'll hear me say that a lot because people fuss and they go, oh, have I got that right? Don't panic. Don't panic. Right, so we need a little bit of glue on there. Now, it's up to you which way you want your petal. I'm going to have mine like that. And you may want to overlap them a little. Like that. That's two. Make sure they're all the same way if you're doing it that like that. Three. Four. You move them about before it dries, if you need to, five. So that's my flower, the start of my flower should I say. Move that in a little bit, like that. Then I'm going to take this flower that I've already made and we're going to dob some glue on there. Just to make sure we've got that. Try and even it out like that. Beautiful. And I'm going to take that big pearl. Actually, I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to get a big pearl. Let's have a look. See if we've got one big enough. Yep. There's one, I think. Make sure the holder at the side and push that in like that. And that lifts up the flower. See, like that. So there's a flower that I've got ready to make, ready to use on top of the others. Now, this is <laughs> where it might get a bit tricky. I'm thinking, what do I need to do? Well, I've got this lace. We do sell this in different colours. I've got some pink tulle that I might want to use. I've got this to use up, a little bit of ribbon. I went in the scrap box and picked up the ribbon, so I've got some of that. This was part of a scarf that I use for the doll's dresses. But it's got a bit of tassel on, so I might want to use a bit of that. I've also got this beautiful, beautiful velvet, crushed velvet, which we're getting that back in, ladies. And I've got other bits and pieces of material at the side of me. But what I do need to get are some of these. And we do sell these. I don't have any smaller ones, I don't think. I do. Yes, that's slightly smaller. I do apologise. So that's the one I want for the ribbon, the velvet ribbon. So I'm going to undo that. Let's just have a look at this. Now, all I'm going to do is attach this. Attach one of these. I need my, where's my flat pliers? I never can find anything these days. <coughs> I need to sort everything out. So I'm just going to fold that in half backwards like that. Pop that on. And clip that together. Really tightly and that's pulled that on. Now 
I'm not sure how much of this. It's going to go around the back of the neck, obviously. So I'm just going to measure my own neck. And I'm going to do that much. So again, I'm going to pop that over. Pop that on there. That's fastened in okay. And grip it. And that's nice and tight. So that's the start of my necklace. This is a bib necklace. And the reason why I'm doing it like this is because I'm going to build on it. I'm not sure. I want a nice flowery bib necklace. It will be for sale. It's not actually for me. But uh, we're just going to see what we can do with it. Okay. So just put that to one side. So... What am I going to put that on? I'm going to put some chain on. So where did I put my bag of chain? Now, I have different chains. I've got parts from necklaces that are vintage. And I'm going to use, I think I will use this. Because I like the different size beads. So I'm going to split this if I can. One, two, three, four, five. That needs to come undone there. Take my little pliers. Take that off, take my ribbon and attach that onto there and then close that back up. That's fine. Now, do I want that? I'm going to take this bit off. I'm going to mix and match mine, I think. Oops, the daisy. Wrong way, mate. Now, this is when you go to your car boots and you find your um, jewellery, junk jewellery. Nab it while you can. But don't ever pay too much for it because there's always somebody selling junk jewellery. Now, don't waste that bit of chain. That'll come in handy somewhere else. Where did I put that piece? There we are. I want to attach this back. like that so that's going to hang down the neck that's fine so I'm going to take this off and leave a small one on not for any particular reason other than I want to let's have a look that's going to drop down there now I want a little bit of a ribbon I think let me just see yeah, because I'm going to build on this. Okie dokie. Let's get my little tray back out. What did I do with it? Get my little tray back out. I'm going to fold that over. Find one that will fit that. Perfect. Find the bigger pliers. Oops, a daisy. Oops. It'll fit on there perfect. Like that. That's it. I can trim that off. Burnish it. I don't want much. I'm going to do that much, I think. So we burnish that. I'm going to turn that over, find another one, like I say we sell these in packs, um, you could probably get about 20, 25, something like that. Like that. That will do. Yep, got them both the right way. So let's go back to this necklace. Move what I'm not using out of the way. I might even, you know, clip some more onto it. Not sure. 
so here's my that's going around the back of my neck if it was me I mean if I, um, so that's going to be like that now let me just see I want to attach that onto there oh I'm going to take that little one off I don't need it don't waste it that's it I'm going to do that put that back on that gives me something to put onto there now let me see what else have I got in here a little bit of old chain there no 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 I want, to, I want it matching, so I've got some more here. I'm going to take an extra piece off here. We think. So we're going to pop that on there. Like that. Pin that back. So let's have a look. Take that off there. Right, now I'm going to move that out of the way because I don't want to get mixed up. Okay, so. And then I'm going to attach that onto there. So we've got that around the back of the neck. And that's going to come this end. That's going to go like that. And make sure that's on the right way. There we go. Let's just see. I need to clamp in together a bit more. There, that's it. So that's going to be the basic necklace of mine. Right, so that's around the back of the neck. And you're going to say, what the... Where is this she doing? I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I never know what I'm doing. But I'm going to use a little bit of tool because I can and I'm just I, you know I'm just gonna chop it and whatever it turns out like it turns out yeah yeah right so I need a bit of thread so I'm gonna use a uh, no it's gonna be covered up so I'm gonna use this stronger thread it will be covered up you won't see it and I'm gonna do that with it Okay, let me cut that. That's it. Pulling that really tight. Like that. I'm going to snip that off. And cut that. So it's like that. And that, yes, I'm going to glue it. And I'm going to glue it onto here. Let me move this out of the way so you can see what I'm doing as I do it. I'm just going to glue that onto here. Like that. Yeah, that'll do fine. Where did I put that bit of thread? There we are. Just going to do that again. Because the great designers who make these bibs and that, they just sit and play basically. I know they have um, probably something in the head, of course, everybody does, that's what I do. I can picture what I'm doing. I can picture what mine needs to look like when it's finished. Um, but getting it like that is a different tale, of course. 
So just move that bit out of the way. And then what I'm going to do is attach this to there. Like that. I know you're thinking, oh my God, with Fee, what have you done? Watch. Watch and see. I hate that poking out there. I don't know why I do them like that, but... There we go. So that will now go on that end, like that. I'm on a non-stick mat. We do sell these. They're absolutely super mats. Well worth the money for what you pay for others. Or oh, very thin, you know, like this is a normal one that you can get on the internet. Look how thin that is. This is thick and lasts right um not um they'll last forever well not forever but they'll last a long long time so i've got that on there now now what i'm going to do is to pin this flower that i've made on that end you see i just wanted that tool in there see how my necklace is starting to grow <laughs> I'm going to take one of my little flowers that I love um, and pop that in there like that. Right, that can peel off now, that's fine. Like I say, we do sell these mats and well worth the money. So I've got that. I'm going to use my other little flower because I can and pop that let's have a look here isn't that gorgeous and I'm going to put one here so that just sits under there like that and i may need to make a few more isn't that beautiful but nowhere near finished it yet nowhere near that's going to look gorgeous when it's on now i'm looking because i had this do you remember this one but i want one in pink Ugh, i want one in pink i i do i mm, yeah i want everything to be pinkish so, um, I don't have this in pink, this fabric, but I can use the organza, so that'll work. Actually, you know what? I can use this. You see, look, I can use this to make one. The scrap, just scrap, fold it, fold it, fold it, fold it over right okay where's my needle and thread gone there we are i'm just going to thread it again like that there we go So let's have a look. We can just do that. All it is, as you just saw, was a little bit of scrap. I'm going to do that. I'm going to take a larger bead, if I have one. One of those. Okay. Oops, a daisy. Where's the bloody hole? There it is. I'm going to thread that back through and then I need something oh look at that do I want silver or do I want I've got it I've got a silver one here nice large bead cap you know what I'm gonna no do I want that let me just see 
Let me just see. Right, bring the necklace back. Like that. This is going to look stunning. And I'm going to dangle it from here. So I'm, I'm going to use the back bit here. In fact, I'm going to use the ribbon as well as the tool to da dangle this from. Oops, make sure you don't catch anything else. Like that. I'm going to go through the last bead again to reinforce that onto the bib necklace bit that I'm doing this section okay and then we need to tie that off I'm not going to tie it off all together right I've just got to sort this out now see we've pulled it in it's glued in anyway I'm going to find that section there take the corners off like that maybe make it a little bit smaller get rid of what I don't need like that okay Oops, sorry about that. Where's my bloody thing gone? <laughs> Here we are. So now that's got something that's um, really pretty. I'm going to cut that down a little bit more there. And there. And then what I'm going to do, where is my tub? I need a bigger one. Let's have a look. I need one of these large pearls. Like I say, we sell all of these, everything I'm using, we do sell. I'm going to do that and pop that pearl in there. Like that. I just accidentally like that. Oh, love it, love it, love it, love it. Right, okay. So, let me just see. Yeah, love that. That can turn round so you can see it. Oh, come out, threads. <laughs> Right, so I'm just going to stitch that one up. I don't know. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm going to do it, but I want to take that out of there. I do want that one. Do you know, we could do a white one on there, couldn't we? Let me just put that away. Let's just have a look. So that's dangling. Do we want... No, I want pink. Everything's got to be pink, so I'm going to have to do another one. Back through the uh, top bead. Like that. Back through the ribbon and tool again. And then tie that off. like that I might do it again and once more now I'm going to leave a little bit of the ribbon uh, the thread on it because what I'm now going to do is to tuck that bit of thread so that it's secure in there just do that with it and it's secure 
and it won't be seen okay and there look let me show you so far we've got that isn't that gorgeous hmm I do like that that's going to hang around the neck there that will dangle down as well I may need to shut I'm going to I'm going to shorten this actually um where's my pliers gone pliers fee I have to make sure I get the right angle hang on oh fee wish I could see that's part of my problem I can't right so we don't want to lose that let me just I'm going to take it off there and anything you take off save because you might want it for something else so I'm going to put some more on mine oh. come on woman that's it let's put that back so when that's on the neck that's going to dangle low but i haven't finished because so that's the back of the neck right that's going to dangle down i'm going to want one of these i think here we've got one here that i'd uh, i'd put on something else and didn't like it so i took it off so it's just one of these flowers and I'm going to place that just there nice mixture of flowers and then I want something here so I've got the leaf things I sold these in the shop but I think we've sold out now Go for a bit larger bead. Let's have a look. Oh, that's the one with the thing in, isn't it? No, it's too big. The stopper in it. No, I'm just going to go for one of these. Okay. So, all I'm going to do is to glue that bead in there. to clip that into here so where's them see the little bit I left I had left should I say I'm gonna clip that onto there fee you're all fingers and thumbs cause me cannot feel now put that onto there like that and then dangle that on this side how's that then folks it needs to dangle from here now let's have a look at this hang on I think I need to open it up a little bit more I'm going to pin that onto there and then fasten that up. Ooh, nicey, nicey. I likey, likey. Why do I do? So, and we can still carry on making. I mean, I can leave that necklace like that. Um, I think I may need to cut that ribbon a little bit. Uh. I'm not sure 
because I do want that. I'd have to put that on to have a look and see what it's like. Hmm. I don't know. I might... I'm sorry, I might need to shorten this a little bit. But, you know, it's all trial and error. Everything is trial and error. I don't want to lose them. So I am going to take that. And one of them would have been enough, to be honest. Just one. I think that would have been too long on the neckline. I like that. And look at that bib necklace that I could wear anywhere. Now, we need to put the other one in there, don't we? I've got a smaller one. No, I'm going to put the same size one in, I think. That one. So they're matching. Like that. Oh. oh no. And we're just going to pop that in there like that. Oh, they look pretty, don't they? I like them. Don't want that on there, mate. I do, I do. I like them a lot, to be honest. And, um, you know. Uh, just like that. They're really nice, aren't they? I can spin around that way. Yeah, I like that like that. So that's how my bib's coming along so far. And uh, I want something else to dangle from this side. Uh, I suppose I could do a shorter one of those and put that there, couldn't I? I'm not sure. I've got that petal left. You know what? Bugger it. I'm not going to waste it. I'm going to attach that to the underneath of that for decoration. And I have some of these. The thing is, is you're going to be constantly uh, enhancing what you've got. That can go in there, so that's brought a little bit more fullness on this side of it, although it doesn't have to. And I could, and I let's just see, let me just see. Now, you're saying to yourself, but how are you going to put it on, Fiona? <laughs> Well, the thing is, let me just do this. <laughs> I've got to get that cut. Because I haven't thought about that bloody thing, had I? Uh, two small ones of the... I hope I've got two small ones. There's one more. <coughs> right. <coughs> Why haven't bloody thought of that, had I? Put that on there like that, but easily remedied. That's one. Now I can um, put it on and see how it hangs. Silly woman. <gasps> And I want a claw. These are all cut from different jewellery. Yeah. Done it. Thank God for that. 
Right, so that's now on where it's supposed to be. And what am I doing? What am I doing? That's that end. And then the other end, here we are. I need to put that on, so I need another ring. Fee fee. I don't seem to have what I need in there. Let me have a look at this one. Sorry it's taking so long for this video, but um, that's life. That's life. All right, that's your dad. He's back from the post office. There we go. I've well done it, ladies and gentlemen. Right. Shush! Let me just see. Where did I put those? In the rings. Move all this out of the way. Not there. I love it. That's pretty, isn't it? I'll put it on the model and the, on the uh, neck thing that I have and then I'll take a photograph of it. But I'm not sure if I, I want to do some more. I, there's not enough in here for me. Because it's one of those necklace um, things, you can actually keep going and um, as long as you don't overdo it, you can keep adding bits and pieces. Oh, I need a pink bead, don't I? Come on, lady. See one of these bobbly ones. I'm just going to pop that in there, like that. That's it. Just as decoration. I'm going to put a bead here as well, I think. Um, there's a nice pink bead. A nice pearl. Nice size pearl in there. Yeah. And I think we could get a little pearl here as well. Just a small one. So it sticks out there. Like that. Beautiful. So, it's quite easy for you to make your own things like this. And, you know, let's have a look. We've got a big diamante, oh that one will do, a nice small diamante, doesn't have to be big does it? So we've got a bit of glam on that side, oh, beautiful, just that little, oh do you know I could do another one of them, just that little bit makes a difference without going overboard. Like that. I love them. I'm thrilled to death with this. Yeah, 